Welcome to uh, episode two of uh, Beer Sweden TV. Uh, good to have you here again. Um, before we start, there's two things I want to do. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for all your comments uh, about the last show. Uh, it's obviously great, great to have your feedback and I uh, hope you liked it. I hope you like what we're trying to do. Uh, when I say we, I mean me basically most of the time. A little bit of uh, Beer Sweden, Trev the cameraman. Um, so uh, that's the first thing I want to do. Uh, the second thing I want to do is I want to promise myself that I don't say the word R or M mm too many times in this episode. Right, okay, so we're going to do today, we're going to explore something. It's a question actually that I'm often asked when I'm sort of out and about, I do a lot of beer tastings and that sort of thing. Um, and over the next few weeks and the next few months in Beer Sweden TV, we're going to be looking at a lot of different styles of beers. IPAs, Belgian speciality beers, uh, fruit beers, wheat beers, uh, those sorts of things and that's going to be a lot of fun but I thought really perhaps we should sort of rewind a little bit because you know this is only the second episode and ask ourselves a very simple question but actually quite a complicated one uh, and it's a question a lot of people ask me. The question is what's the difference between an ale and a lager? Okay so we're going to go Back to basics, sort of beer school, one on one. Um, and today I've got two uh, two beers in front of me. Uh, on this side of the screen, as it were, I've got uh, an a pilsner uh, or a lager. And on this side of the table, I've got an ale. And we're going to take a quick look at the two of them, the two different styles. Uh, and I'll explain to you really what the differences are between them. Okay, so let's crash straight into this. The first one, the first beer, is a German pilsner called uh, Jeva or Jeva if you're speaking Swedish. Okay, pour this one up. Okay, the first thing you're going to see, and smell of course, I don't know if you've had this one before, this is an amazing, an amazing German Pilsner in terms of smell and aromatics. Uh, this is, uh, it's a classic looking uh, uh, Pilsner colour, okay. Uh, the second beer that we're going to be pouring up uh, is uh, red ale from Slotschelands in Uppsala uh, in Sweden. Um, I chose this one just to give you a uh, you know a clear look at the different sort of colours that you're getting there. Can you see that? Beautiful sort of amber, well it's called a red ale so it's kind of red colour. Okay now the reason I'm pouring these two up is because a lot of people think well it's pretty simple to tell the difference between an an owl and a, and a lager. Look at the colour, and I would say probably you know 90% of the time you you've got a good point there. Um, lagers tend to be lighter in colour, uh, a little bit more sort of straw-like, golden-like, whereas ales tend to be a bit more sort of dark uh, brown mahogany. And um, yeah, as I say, most of the time you're going to get that right, um, but that's not always the case. Uh, and I'm going to prove that to you a little bit later on with a couple of other beers uh, that really do sort of bust that myth. Um, but what's the main difference? Well, the main difference, to be honest with you, is in the way that the beer is made, um, in the brewing process. Uh, the biggest difference between um, ales and lagers is the yeast that's used. So let's start from the very beginning. Beer. Beer is basically what we're going to be talking about on Beer Sweden over the next few weeks and few months. That's kind of like the umbrella term for everything that we're going to be talking about. Underneath beer, uh, it divides into two parts. One side goes towards ales, uh, the other side goes towards lagers. Lagers tend to be uh, beers that um, ferment uh, at lower temperatures, okay? Normally between something like 46, 55 degrees, something like that. So basically they, their mojo, their magic happens at lower temperatures uh, compared to ales, okay? And they use a yeast that actually settles down to the bottom of the fermentation vessel. It's called a bottom fermenting yeast. All right, and what that does is it gives uh, lagers uh, a very sort of smooth, quite elegant sort of feel to them. They tend to be uh, quite crisp and quite clean. And in fact, if we give this yeah, a little a little whirl and a little sniff, you're getting that straight away. There's not that sort of fruitiness that uh, you tend to associate with uh, with ales. It's a, it's a lot drier and a lot sort of cleaner. I'm not necessarily actually going to taste these beers, I just really wanted to give you an indication of sort of the colours and so on and so forth. Although while we're at it Trevor, I mean it is it's Friday afternoon, um, 
I'm going to say that this I think is a fantastic beer, very crisp, very malty, bready, almost like white bread, not brown bread, it's sort of white bready sort of nose, huge amount of herbal sort of hoppy finish to this one. Great sort of uh, beer if you're going to have something like, um, I don't know, Indian cuisine or something like that with a bit of spice in it. The spiciness in this hops, you can see from my mouth, I'm just trying to get rid of the stuff. Uh, it goes really, really well with Indian food. So, um, but it really is a, a you know a, a typical of its style for a lager. It's crisp, it's clean, it's pure, it's quite elegant. I was thinking of ways in which I could kind of describe in a way that even Trevor would understand um, about the difference between lagers and ours. And the one thing I came up with is if this style of beer, if lagers went on holiday, they would like to go to somewhere a little bit cooler. They would like to go to somewhere like, I don't know, Austria. You know, they'd hire probably a chalet somewhere, ski in, ski out, rather refined, rather elegant, you know, that sort of thing. Right, moving on, so that's lager. Uh, in terms of lager styles, I mean, pilsners, of course, are, 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 are things that you're gonna uh, come across a lot in this country, and pilsner styles. You've got pale lagers, which is, uh, you know, most of the domestic breweries pumping out uh, sort of pale lager styles. Uh, box, uh, cloches, lots of German sort of lagers, so there's plenty for you to choose from. Okay, moving on.